Hey everyone, in this video I show how to make iodoform and talk about some of its properties. Uh, iodoform, as it sounds, is the analogous molecule uh, to chloroform except instead of chlorine you're using iodine. So you got a central carbon uh, with one hydrogen bonded to it and three iodines bonded to it. So to start, uh, take a quantity of acetone and dissolve a maximum amount of iodine in it. And add that to about 20 times as much water. After the iodine and acetone has been added to the water, uh, slowly drop in some sodium hydroxide solution while stirring. So I made this by taking concentrated sodium hydroxide and adding it with equal parts of water. Okay. And as the reaction goes, we'll see a color change. What's happening is the haliform reaction. So uh, the haliform reaction is the common way to make um, chloroform at home, and this is just uh, an adaptation of that. Okay. Continue to add sodium hydroxide. Uh, you have to be careful not to add too much sodium hydroxide because the iodoform will hydrolyze and uh, go back into solution and you'll lose all your product. So continue to add sodium hydroxide until uh, no more iodine color is observed. Uh, you'll start to see a golden precipitate of iodoform. The solution forms a pretty tight precipitate that can be decanted. So I'm going to filter this off and uh, run my product through the filter with some air to dry it out. Some iodoform is placed in the test tube. This isn't all of my yield, but even still, I think I got a pretty low yield just because I don't think I had um, perfect ratios between my sodium hydroxide, iodine, and acetone. Um, I'm not too experienced with telling where the uh, proper point is to stop adding sodium hydroxide because I don't think I've ran this reaction enough times. Um, so that would be why I got the yield I got. But anyway, uh, in this next reaction I'm going to show it reacting with chlorine. My method for adding chlorine will be to produce chlorine gas by mixing hydrochloric acid and calcium hypochlorite in a small Erlenmeyer flask. And then having the chlorine gas produced, um, lead up a glass tube and, and inserting the glass tube into the test tube. So I'll start that now and explain what's happening. Immediately a reaction observed and uh, you can see a brown color forming there. What's happening is the chlorine is replacing the iodine on the iodoform molecule. And at first this is only happening to some of the iodines. So we'll get products uh, with a carbon that's bound to a hydrogen, um, two iodines and a chlorine, or an iodine and two chlorines. And eventually we will substitute all the iodine out to make chloroform. Uh, you might wonder why this reaction doesn't uh, go on all the way to carbon tetrachloride and that's because a reaction between uh, chloroform and chlorine requires uh, some pretty extreme conditions. Okay. The uh, reaction is very exothermic so it's pretty hot down there at the bottom of the test tube. I'll continue to add chlorine. Now after all of the iodine has been displaced from the iodoform, the free iodine that's left in that test tube will start to react with the chlorine as well to make iodine monochloride. And if I continue to add even more chlorine, eventually it will make iodine trichloride. So that purple color down there of iodine uh, could start to change. I did a video on the reaction between chlorine and iodine to make iodine monochloride, so if you're curious about that, then check it out. The 
gonna take the test tube out of the stand here and give it a little swirl. Iodoform was once used as a disinfectant. And there we start to see uh, some yellow color just above the iodine. I don't know how well you can see it on camera. That looks like iodine trichloride. And that yellow color up on uh, towards the top of the test tube might also be iodine trichloride, but I'm not sure. I uh, hope you enjoy my video on iodoform. I'd like to take this opportunity. Okay. Something else interesting iodoform does is when it thermally decomposes, it releases a lot of cool colors. Uh, this is due to the presence of iodine and carbon. So I uh, it with my torch. You can see some uh, iodine, some smoke, and some black carbon. I'd like to take this time to uh, talk about a website that's really awesome called Science Made Alive. Um, it's written by a guy from Science Madness uh, called Wellen, and it's a really awesome resource for the home chemist. Uh, if you go on here, you'll see a lot of experiments that I've done, and he helped me a lot specifically with uh, this video on iodoform, so I highly recommend you check it out. Um, he has really good write-ups on um, yeah, different reactions that he's done. Um, so, anyway, uh, please check out his site.